Hey guys, Day Youngie here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are looking at another idol image slash persona. This one was actually suggested in the comments of one of my videos this time. And thank you so much for that because one, these are some of my favorite types of videos to make. And two, this is definitely an interesting topic worth looking at. The persona in question we'll be looking at concerns what we refer to as the parents of a K-pop group. We're going to be looking at the meaning behind this image, examples of some idols who hold it and why, before looking at of course the negative effects of this image. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, let's explore what we mean by the idea of the parent of the group. Similarly to how we may have seen this term used amongst friends, the parent member of a K-pop group often refers to the member or members who take on more of a care or nurturing role within the team, in the same way that one's parent might do so. These members are often seen making sure everybody in the group is doing well emotionally and sometimes even physically. They're seen as the parent figure who may sometimes be deemed as more responsible and more reliable. Although it's not necessarily an official role within K-pop groups such as vocal or leader that a company might assign, a lot of K-pop groups do appear to have members who fans deem as the mum or dad of the group, and amongst their other members. Often, but not always, this member might also happen to be the oldest and sometimes when a group picks up on the fact that fans have declared them the parent of the group, they acknowledge this in their behaviour and in interviews and kind of carry on with it. Now we know what the meaning of this image is, it's pretty self-explanatory, so now let's look at some examples of idols to put this into practice who appear to be the parent figure within their group. I'm just going to include the first few popular ones that came to mind for me, but if you can think of any others that really stand out for you, you, please let me know in the comments. First up, Stray Kids is Bang Chan. This one actually popped into my mind first because I recall recently seeing a clip where Stray Kids were on the set of their recent new music video Chick Chick Boom, which features actors Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. When speaking with them, Bang Chan said something along the lines of, the kids might like to take some photos or selfies, and it made me think how sure it could be a cute play on words because they're straight kids, but of course we know he meant it in more of an affectionate kind of way. I think for a long time, Bang Chan has been kind of considered the dad of Stray Kids, and he is an example of an idol who just so happens to be the oldest in their group and also the leader. Aside from literally referring to the members as the kids, Bang Chan is also renowned for his sort of dad humour, which of course many of us know is a very fatherly staple, and the way he cares for the members. Another cute reason fans seem to refer to Bang Chan as the dad of the group is due to the way he seems to genuinely love and care for his members. He has such an adoration for not just the members but Stray Kids as a brand and all the success they have worked on and built up together. There's a sense of pride there that a lot of fans will find reminiscent of like a proud father. While we're on the topic of dads of their group, another idol who came to mind for me was EXO Suho but for different reasons. It's much easier for me to include examples of groups I stan because of course there's groups I'm very familiar with in their dynamic. And for some reason, I think Suho has actually been referred to as the mom of the group rather than the father which is different due to how well he cares for the members and is always looking out for them. Again kind of like Bang Chan he's always seemed to be really caring for the other members and because of the way in which he's so sentimental and considerate of not just the members and their well-being but EXO as a whole this is why fans often refer to him as the group's mother rather than father. I did see a clip of Suho himself saying that when he was living with the group's youngest member Sehun he was kind of nagging him like a mum would and when Sehun would come home late, he would tell him he needs to come home earlier. However, it does seem as though Suho himself has expressed that he doesn't really enjoy being referred to as the mother of the group. The annoying thing is, I can't find any evidence of him saying this in an article or clip for me to share with you guys, so I'm not too sure of the reason for him saying this. Whether it's due to the pressure or potential stereotypes that come with this role, we'll get onto that later, don't worry. Okay, let's move on to look at another group and a member who is referred to as the mother of their group group, this time actually within a girl group, and that is Red Velvet's Irene. Irene is again the leader of her group. All the examples we have looked at thus far have been their group's leader, which is an interesting coincidence. And I think part of the reason Irene is regarded as a parental figure in the group might be due to the fact that she is the eldest amongst the members. In fact, the age gap between Irene and the group's youngest member, Yeri, is almost eight whole years. But aside from the 
age is playing a part in Irene's perception amongst fans as mother of the group. She has also been assigned this role due to the way she is seen to be caring for the members through acts of service. There's an old clip of Yeri saying that Irene used to iron her school uniform for her when she was still in education, something which apparently Irene admitted she enjoyed doing for fun, ironing. Irene also seems to have that motherly presence in ensuring the members have proper table manners. Like there's a clip of Irene telling Solgi to wait until she'd finished eating to speak when Solgi attempted to talk with her mouth full, which is something you would expect to hear from your mother. But aside from the nagging side, which sounds bad when we say nagging, but mums only do this because they care, remember? Irene also shows her motherly side from the way she protects the members during precarious situations. There was one time during COVID where on a red carpet, photographers wanted the girls to take off their masks so they could get better pictures, a request which the members were clearly uncomfortable by. Irene was the member to firmly say no, which was a very smart move for the safety as everybody during that time, not just her members. She might have been saying that as the group's leader and spokesperson, but also while looking out for them as a motherly figure. To also protect the members, Irene has been seen handing them blankets in the cold or to cover themselves when they're wearing short clothing, the sorts of things a mother would do to protect her daughters. And let's throw in one more example because there's so many we could discuss and I'm going to mention 80s's Hong Joon, who is often referred to as the dad of the group. This one in particular was actually mentioned by the person who suggested this video idea, so it felt wrong not to include it when they're definitely correct and Hong Joon is often regarded to as the dad of the group. In earlier content from 80s, the consensus was that Hong Joon was the father of the group and another one of the group's members, Song Kwa, was the group's mother and the members kind of went along with this too. I think it's clear for fans to see that Hong Joon doesn't just view 80s as the group he leads, but also the members are like family to him, something which I believe he has stated before. So much so that the members themselves have even said in the past that he spends so much time looking after them, that he rarely has any time to look out for himself. That air of selflessness is definitely something reminiscent of our parents, who will always sacrifice themselves to put their children first. Another interesting factor of Hong Jung's personality that I think plays into why he's often referred to as a parental figure is because he's some that fans and the rest of the group are able to look up to. He has been known to be an inspirational idol who is not afraid to represent campaigns he is passionate about, such as the Polished Fan Campaign, which is a social impact campaign by the Australian non-profit YGAP, aiming to end violence against women and children. The fact that Hong Jung is such an open activist makes him kind of feel like a really positive role model, and this is something that a lot of us will also consider as a mother or father trait, as parents are often seen as somebody you can look up to. So we've looked at a few examples of idols who fit this image or persona well. So why may an idol appear to have this image? We touched upon this in our examples, which we usually do, but there could be a few reasons why an idol appears to be the parent of the group. One major reason could be, like we already said, because they're the eldest of the group. And a lot of us will naturally see somebody older than us, or in this instance, older than the group, as a parental figure and somebody you can look up to, as like an older and wiser mind. But in all of the examples we have just reviewed, all of these idols just so happen to be the leader of their groups as well. Of course, there are some idols who are deemed as parental figures within their group who aren't the leader. However, the amount of groups who do have a member seen as the mum or dad amongst fans who are often the leader is definitely worth mentioning. This crossover may simply just be a coincidence because people often see parents as leaders or somebody we look up to as an authority figure. But it's definitely interesting how there's often a crossover here. Another reason an idol may appear to be the parent of their group is because they just naturally take on a more nurturing role because this is part of their personality. Like we briefly mentioned when defining this persona, it's quite common for a friends group to have a member who feels like the parent of the group and there might not even be a major age gap or anything but this is the friend who just naturally has that aura where they're more protective or more caring and they put others before themselves. It's very easy for them to feel like a caregiver rather than just a friend. The same could happen within a workplace where a new or younger employee starts and the older or more experienced members of staff take them under their wing. As the life of a K-pop idol is working closely alongside their group members as colleagues and sometimes friends, it makes sense that the same would apply here too. Unfortunately, I have to be a spoiled sport and in all of these Persona videos, we take some time to look at the potential negative impacts of an idol having this image within their group. And there's definitely some interesting ones we have to consider for this Persona in particular. So let's jump into some of the consequences of being a K-pop group's mum or dad. First issue I wanted to discuss is that sometimes the parent of the group are barely adult
results themselves. Okay, this one makes me sound really boring and like I'm just complaining more than anything, but I do still think it's worth mentioning. While some K-pop groups do have a larger age gap between the youngest and the eldest members, such as Red Velvet, this isn't necessarily always the case. And there are some groups where fans deem two members the mother and father of the group, while they're still very young themselves. Usually a parental figure is somebody older who it feels appropriate to look up to because they have those years of life experience. Deeming somebody who is barely 20 years old a parental figure for a barely 18 year old doesn't really make sense because aside from looking out for them as a good friend, there's not necessarily much more they could offer to this young person's life through years of experience of their own because they're only slightly older themselves if that makes sense. I know this kind of makes me sound really lame but in reality somebody who's only a couple of years older than you would be seen as a friend or a peer not your mum or dad when you think about it. We may refer to one of our friends as the mum or dad of the group but they're not old enough to be a parent of a young adult in a similar age in any way and that is something that would take years of raising a younger child to be able to reach the stage of feeling comfortable enough to do if that makes sense. Another issue I've found with the parent of the group image is an interesting one and this is the fact that this image and persona can reinforce gender and even age stereotypes. In our examples, we have looked at one member at a time for each group, but within a lot of groups where they may have a member deemed the father of the group, there's also another member who is often seen as the mother of the group. If fans are able to find a potential pair within a group to deem as the parents, plural, then they'll do it, and label two of the group members mum and dad. While I understand that this is probably done in harmless fun, within groups of the same gender, how are fans deciding which member to label as mum and which one to label as dad? This is usually done via age-old stereotypes that nobody within the fandom will have come up with themselves, of course it's not their fault, but by picking a bi group member A to be mum and bi group member B to be dad, it inadvertently reinforces the stereotypes of what is expected of either a mother or a father within a parental role, what is expected of a man and a woman within the family dynamic, and even sometimes what is expected of an individual as the oldest member of a group to take on additional responsibility. So that was a lot of words I know, but let's look at an example. The mum of the group is often chosen for a member who takes on a more nurturing or caring role, right? They might be seen as the softer and emotionally supportive member. This reinforces that mothers should be caregivers. The father of the group is often assigned to a member who appears to be a bit more responsible or protective. And this just reinforces the stereotype that a father should be a manly figure who is able to be the strong one within a family. Now, even saying these stereotypes makes me feel a bit sick because this is just exactly what they are. They're labels and they pigeonhole the parental figure. Whereas we all know that in the modern day family, a mother or a father of any gender are able to do all of these things. You have single parents who have to be the strong protective one and the carer one. You have mothers doing father's roles and vice versa. And this is how things are nowadays. These stereotypes should not exist. And although assigning members as the mum or dad within a K-pop group might seem harmless in theory, in practice I do fear we are just reinforcing stereotypes stereotypes that some people may absolutely disagree with through their own life experiences of not having a nuclear family. And this just causes discomfort, aka the exact opposite of what the intention of this persona is. And one more problem with the parental figure image that I wanted to mention was the major responsibility and expectation of poise and perfection that this puts on an idol. I feel like every single persona I discuss, I always bring it back to the pressure this puts on an idol. But this is the reality of being assigned any image or persona whether it's by a label or by fans in this case, it puts this air of expectation on an idol to act within certain limits at all times or else you're rude, ungrateful, acting different, etc. In this instance, if an idol is seen as the parental figure of their group, there will be an expectation on them to always be able to take the lead or be the voice of reason within a group. It is their job to look out for the other members, it's their job to be the strong and protective one or the thoughtful caring one. But as we all know, idols are only human and while this may be a member's personality 98% of the time, everybody has a bad day and the member of the group who is seen as the mum may have her days where she doesn't feel like wiping another member's tears because she doesn't have a parental figure within the group of her own and has to look after herself sometimes. There may be occasions where the dad of the group isn't feeling so strong. Does this make these parent figures bad people? Of course not, they're just regular people with their own struggles. However, with the way netizens and critics often and work, on their bad days where they're struggling, these members will be pulled up on their behaviour and people will start to question what their problem is. When in reality,
reality, the problem is that an expectation to always have the voice of reason be placed upon them when they themselves are trying to navigate something as difficult as idle life is not realistic. Who is looking out for them? That's something we need to consider. When somebody is an actual parent, they're expected to be emotionally available always or always protect their child. When it comes to a young K-pop idol who has this role given to them by fans who like the way they guard the other members of the group, how are they supposed to navigate the expectations this now means they have to meet? Okay, conclusion time. I don't want to always sound like the voice of negativity because whenever we discuss personas such as this one or any others we looked at in the past, I always give examples and then explain the issue with the image existing. But like every other persona we discuss, clearly this one exists for a reason and I understand why some people won't necessarily see the harm in this image. For a lot of K-pop idols they move away from their families at a young age and are not around their parents during some of their most developmental years. Therefore it is natural that they may look up to an older group member who they spend most of their formative years with and see them as a parental figure and this is absolutely okay this is just the reality they're living. I do think humans naturally seek out a parental figure or somebody to look up to and this would be another example of this. In a way, it may bring some sort of comfort and solace to idols who are not around their families often, and even fans who struggle with their family dynamics too, and it would hate for us to take an area of comfort away from anybody. But at the same time, we cannot ignore the issues that do come with this image. It does place a strange sort of responsibility on somebody who may have never necessarily meant to put themselves in that position. They're just a natural leader or naturally caring, and now thousands of people are expecting them to be a carer of a whole group of people when they might not want to. I think it's important that we consider how the idols in question feel about being referred to as a parental figure of their group because it is a lot more of a serious responsibility than we can really realise sometimes. Some idols may enjoy taking on this role as it gives them a feeling of greater purpose and they want to be a parental figure but for those idols who are not keen on this title and don't necessarily want to have to be a role model, I don't think it's fair for fans to carry on pressuring them into adopting this role if they didn't personally feel like they are able to have the capacity to do it. Okay guys and that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching if you got this far. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and I would love to hear your thoughts on the parental figure persona in the comments. Do you think it's a bit of harmless fun and comfort for those who need it or do you think it puts pressure on idols to fill a void that it's not their responsibility to fill? If you're new here please hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be the first to hear whenever I upload and I will see you next time. Bye guys!